What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Well today we're going to be going ahead and comparing these two 6600s. 6600s dropped about four weeks ago or so and they have been a sensation within the mining industry. If you guys are new or just discovering this video, the reason these are such a big hit is you're able to get just roughly about 30 mega hash, give or take, about 28 to 30, but at a substantially lower wattage than most cards out there. The only other one that really contends with it is a 1660. So this is a new generation, you could say, of the 1660 made by NVIDIA, and we do have our AMD Radeon 6600. So I purchased both of these about four weeks ago. Uh, the first one I got uh, is this guy right here, and I got it from roguecast.com. Go ahead and check it out. And this is a Sapphire Pulse, um, which I'm thrilled about. I love the Sapphire brand. I have a total of 13 Sapphire Nitros with one Sapphire Pulse, so I'm a huge fan of their product line. And that is this card right here. We then went ahead and picked this one up this past weekend, and this is actually a Power Color Hellhound Edition. And this is, of course, our AMD Radeon RX 6600. So, right away, there's a little bit of a size difference, which isn't a huge deal. You know, this one is definitely smaller than this one when it comes down to overall size. Some other uh, things that you see instantly between the two cards is that the quality. So, you look at the Sapphire one, okay? And then we look at our power color. So each company went ahead and cheaped out in different ways. So on the Sapphire, this one I'm really surprised by. So Sapphire Pulse, I have been a huge fan of for a long time. And a lot of their other cards have are much higher quality physically. The aesthetics, the heat sink, the shrouds, everything like that. So if we go ahead and take a look. So over here, I have a Sapphire Pulse, several years old. This is actually a... RX 580, 8 gig card. It's a solid card, real thick, heavy plastic to it. Um, you know, the back side of it has this aluminum back plate to it. It just seems like a very strong and sturdy card. Well, this guy seems super flimsy plastic to it. Nothing too crazy, you know, nothing. They didn't spend any extra money to make this thing stand out in any way. Now, granted, performance is everything, right? So you can have the crappiest looking card out there, but the performance is key at the end of the day. So that really surprised me about the Sapphire Pulse. On the other side here, we have our Power Color Hellhound 6600. So a few things on this one. So the exoskeleton of this, so our backplate, the front shroud are very heavy duty. I mean, this thing's got some weight to it. It almost weighs twice the weight of this guy. Um, and we can go ahead, I mean, this is super thick. It's really strong. I mean, it feels like you got something in your hand versus that other one, it feels like a feather. Now, you can tell these fans, they really cheaped out on them. And I think it's because they went ahead and went with RGB uh, versus these are just your plain Jane fans over here. But I'm really surprised and happy with this card. So if I go ahead and take this power color that I have, now this is a R9 380, several years old, quite a bit. Um, you know, this is a cheapo right here. And I am very surprised by this. I, I am very impressed and surprised by how we went from this to this, even though there's, there's nothing fancy about this card. Nothing about the shroud that stands out, nothing, you know, overboard to it. I mean, I guess they went ahead and spiced things up with giving us a cyan colored LED RGB fans. But other than that, I was really surprised. So at the end of the day, just my opinion on the two cards, on the two brands, either way, I'm happy just to have the 6600s. I've had a hard time finding these. Um, you know, they hit the market day one, sub $400. And after that, they came back two to three days later and everything was four, five, six hundred dollars $600 for an RX 6600. It's just crazy. So our next step is we're gonna go ahead and get these plugged into a test rig. Uh, we have Y splitters here. They take an eight pin um, on these right here. So if you go ahead and take a look, an eight pin there, an eight pin there. By the way, side note, look at the size of this heat sink. 
this one. It's in there somewhere. Anyways, we have um, our Y splitters from GPRisers.com that we're gonna be using. We have our PCI cable and then GP risers provided us some fresh risers here. So we're gonna go ahead and get a brand new fresh riser for each card set up and installed. And we're gonna go ahead and pop these up on a test rig, same rig. And we're gonna put the exact same overclock settings in. Both of these cards are using Hynix memory. And we're just gonna go ahead and see how they do head to head. Okay, so our 6600s are installed in our test bench here. So on the left hand side, we do have our power color Hellhound. Uh, that's the AMD Radeon RX 6600. There's that cyan blue colored uh, RGB. Looks really good though, I'll give it to them. On the right hand side here, we do have the Sapphire Pulse AMD Radeon RX 6600 no RGB. So our test bench here is one of these mining rigs on a board that I've built in the past. We have a 500 watt ATX power supply powering just a simple HP motherboard. We then have a 1200 watt HP power supply as well. It all depends on what we're running here as well as a GPRisers.com solid state in drive in the back there. So let's go ahead and get this powered on here. Look at this power button ripped right out of an HP tower. And let's power these on. And off we go, heck yeah. All right, let's let these boot into Hive OS and we'll jump over there and see how they do with Ethereum. Okay, so we're over on the computer here. We are on our test bench. We're mining Ethereum on Team Red Miner. And let's go ahead and take a look at how these stack up side by side. So one may say that cards differ a little bit um, due to Silicon Lottery, but man, these cards are so close together, it's ridiculous. So taking a look here, we have the Sapphire Pulse on top here, and you can see that it's doing 26.70 mega hash registered within Hive OS. Now on the flip side of this, the power color is doing 26.67. So like 0 0.03 you know usually you have like a one to three percent margin of error when you're doing testing this is ridiculous this is i mean look at it neck and neck it is within 0 0.03 constantly of each other um sapphire pulse yes it's doing a little bit bigger better mega hash but like maybe with a few more uh, tests with longevity over several days we you know we may see one over the other but this is crazy to see how close they are so they're currently on stock hash rate let's go ahead and flip them to the same overclock settings and we'll go ahead and see how they do because if we leave them as stock settings take a look we start to get some crazy temperatures. So let me go ahead, swap these over to some overclock settings, and we'll be back in a minute to see if they are as close as they are now. It's been a few minutes. We have our overclock settings in, and we are neck and neck again. The Sapphire Pulse is still outperforming the power color. Uh, if we go ahead and take a look at our overclock settings, we're doing 900 on the core clock, 620 on the core voltage, 620 on the memory controller voltage, 950 on our memory clock, and our memory voltage is 1100. And finally, we're just throwing our fan at 85 for right now. So very, very close, neck and neck. Uh, if we take a look at the watts off to the right-hand side, be cautious, AMD watts do not register in hive os very accurately um, it's saying we're using 44 and the other one's saying we're using 42. actually on the voltage meter uh, we are seeing that these are using right about 56.7 ish each give or take um, but that's still phenomenal i mean 56 watts for let's say sub 30 mega hash is insane compared to some of the other cards that i have in my farm currently right now it just it blows my mind it definitely tells me that the 6600 is spot on for 30 mega hash for the price point that we did go ahead and buy these at anyways guys let's cut back to the camera okay well this was just a short fun video going ahead and comparing these uh for you guys these are definitely cards that you would run on ethereum right now what will we run these on once Ethereum goes to point of stake? I don't really know. We'll have to see where the market is at that time and see what's the most profitable. It's really hard to speculate at the current moment. We don't even have a date for that quite yet. 
But side by side, if we were to go ahead and price these out side by side right next to each other on your cost, um, these would be really hard because who's to say that I buy a second power collar Hellhound and it doesn't outperform this by you know 0.3 or point or 0.03 or 0.05 who knows these are definitely neck and neck i would probably pick the power color just because i'm a fanboy of the rgb i mean come on now do you blame me it does look pretty dang good but anyways guys this is a short video on the 6600s hopefully you guys did enjoy it these are cards that i'm going to try to get my hands on more of I like the price point, they're a little more obtainable, and I know a lot of you guys have gotten your hands on these as well because they're not astronomical like the 3070s, 3080s, and 3090s out there right now. Well guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to survive. Survive? That sounds terrible. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.